All right, here we are in my hydrogen lab. Um, it's a fancy name for my garage floor. Uh, this is my original cell with a plate configuration that is similar to that. That one's set up as uh, two negatives in the center flanked by two neutrals and positives on the outside. Whereas the one that's in the original cell is alternating positive negative eight plate configuration draws about 60 amps with some baking soda in the water using rain water or purified water. I'm currently testing a new setup. Instead of plates I found these stainless steel glasses or uh, cups. I bought them at a uh, restaurant supply. Uh, they were like $3.99 each pretty cheap for stainless. Don't know how how pure they are but they don't seem to be staining the water. So I'm testing a configuration right now of these um, cups in about um, let's see the middle one is negative. The two outsides are positive. Well top and bottom and then the, in the middle we have two neutrals. And I'm about to start it up. I have approximately three tablespoons of baking soda and about a gallon and a half to a gallon, uh, two gallons of water. That's rain water. Previous testing, I'm getting a little discoloration. Don't know what it's from, but there's no scum on the water like tap water. Um, could be from the baking soda, I'm not sure, or maybe the alligator clips. Are the only thing in there that's not um, stainless. So right now we've got a charge of about 7 volts from previous testing. The amp meter is nothing. I'm about to plug it in. And you might not be able to see the amp meter. So here we go. Okay, immediately we get some action in the cell and we're getting a quite a nice reaction there previously tested this um, the three bottom cups have holes drilled in them the, the top two don't um, I will drill holes in them later to let some water flow but right now I think we're doing pretty good the amp meter shows about 30 amps if you can see it no it's about approximately 30 amps Voltmeter is 10. Uh, 